Well, uh, pick these two at your peril. Stronger side is Angola. They're at plus 115. Namibia, I would don't want to be disrespectful, but I think they're happy to be there. And now they've got to take their chance at plus 260. Again, the under or over is set at two. And the under two is 125. So I'm going to write under two there. Could be a parlay to be had. Uh, draw plus 210. Cannot split them. Namibia are minus 163 to score. Angola a minus 225 under one and a half. Uh, let's go with you, Kwaku, because I've got this again, nil-nil, 1-1, one, one, because I'm wondering if the fear of winning might just overshadow the fear of losing. Well, you'd think so, but Angola have shown no fear in this tournament in terms of the way they've attacked. Um, they've scored goals, which has been hard to come by for some of the top nations, but Angola have really shown attacking prowess. And they come up against the Namibia side, too. I think you're right to put it. They're happy to be here. They've got their first ever AFCON win in the game against Tunisia, one of the biggest shocks in AFCON history, and qualified as one of the best-placed uh, teams uh, in their group. So they go into this one with nothing to lose. I know Angola have got a lot to lose, but I don't think that will affect their style of football. I think they'll still go, still go out there and try and play because that's what they've done so far in this tournament. Comfortably beat uh, Bikina Faso in their final group game to con confirm them as group winners. And I just like what I've seen from Angola so far. And if there's going to be a dark horse in one of these round 16 games, or dark horse in terms of all these teams in the round 16, Angola might just be one to look out for. Um, Tony's touched on the fact that if Nigeria make it through, they could potentially play Angola. Maybe there's an upset alert there in that one. I'm not looking too far ahead, but I fancy Angola to win this one um, against the Namibia side, who have shown a lot, but I think this is the time to, for them to exit the tournament. Yeah, with Angola being so strong, though, Tony, is it not a case that Namibia just try and have like a 5-4-1 formation and make sure they've got nine and sometimes ten men behind the ball? They're not going to be, they're not going to want an open, expansive game here. No, of course not. Five, four, one, nine, zero, one. You name it. I feel like you, you're right. Namibia are happy to be there, and even though they did qualify as one of the third place teams, as Kwaku said, this is an Angola side that surprised. I didn't even have them beating Burkina Faso. I, I thought Burkina Faso had a really good tournament, but Angola made a real comfortable two 0 situation out of that game, and they've been one of the tournament teams that they haven't lost yet. There's two wins and a draw. They're having a good um, time at this AFCON so far. So I do expect them to take to this game. I've gone for the Angola money line here. Even though I just see Namibia maybe trying to hang on for dear life and just happy to be here. I feel like Angola have shown like intent throughout this AFCON and especially going up against a weaker side in Namibia. I feel like that intent might continue. And I feel like this is a nice way to get into the quarterfinals for Angola. Yeah, on paper. But that's the problem we've got here is they don't play on paper because Angola at plus 115. I see I look at these and I've been doing it so, so many years that you've got team A versus team B here and look at the numbers and then come back to the names. Angola are clearly stronger and Angola have been clearly more impressive than Namibia. So why are the books offering plus 115? It don't happen. They don't give gifts. Honestly, it's like... Be careful of the smiling assassin. I cannot split these two. But, Kwaku, if I ask you what you thought the score would be, what would it be? Um, I think I'm going to win comfortably. I'm going for a 2 0 score line. I think the Namibia have been really, really good in this tournament and they've shown prowess, and that's how they got through their group. But the game against South Africa showed me something. They got absolutely smashed 4 0. And I think. Their reality is somewhere in between that result and somewhere in between the Tunisia result. I don't think they're necessarily as poor as they showed against South Africa, but the result against Tunisia, I think, was uh, was a surprise. It was a shock, and I don't think anybody expected it, least uh, least of all Tunisia. And so I think that despite the fact that they deserve to get to this point in the tournament, I think they are one of the weakest teams in the round of 16, and I think Angola will deal with them pretty handily, so I'm going for a 2-0 scoreline in that one. Yes, you're seeing the plus 115 as a gift. Tony, uh, correct score. Are you happy to go with a 2-0 or do you think it might be a bit tighter? I think it might be a bit tighter, Flash. I'm going for a 1-0 if I was putting the correct score line on. I feel like Angola will win this game, but I feel like Namibia, the fact that they're here, the fact that they've we've seen that they can hang on for a game and nick the last goal, I don't think they'll do that against Angola, but I've seen that they can hang on for over 85 minutes. So I'm definitely going to put a 1-0 here and I can't see Angola scoring two. Because I feel like Namibia, Namibia are a decent enough side to hang on. But I still feel like Angola will win this game. Yeah, really, really interesting game. But both Kweku and Tony are indicating that plus 115 is an absolute gift, not a trap. Uh, let's have a little look at the official picks. Because as you see, I'm going with the old 
knockout system that I always go with. And go luck money line plus one one five for both the experts and your presenter is going with the numbers. Draw plus two ten. Remember, Listen, you won't be surprised when you see all four of my selections are going to be numbers-based, not Team A, Team B. 